Hey everybody, welcome back to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. In today's really fun video, we are going to be doing some really fun caramel filled chocolates. For today's video, I'm using a silicone mold. This is about $8 on Amazon. And for today's video, I'm also going to be using a little spoon for chocolate work and that is made by the company Wilton. For this tutorial, you have two choices. You can either paint the chocolate into each cavity like you've seen me do in many of my other tutorials, or you can do this method, which is nice as well. We're just gonna fill each cavity with chocolate. And I am using a dark chocolate. So the important thing is to fill each one of the cavities right to the top. and then give the mold a good tap. This helps remove air bubbles from the chocolate. And then I flip over the mold and let all of the chocolate come out. And then with a large spatula, I clean off the edge of the mold. And then I place the mold upside down on my silicone sheet and I'm going to let that sit there for about 10 minutes. Then I flip it back over and I leave it there for about a half an hour. When you see the inside of all of the chocolates has set or dried, we can now start adding our caramel. I'm using homemade caramel in this tutorial. If you want to see how to make caramel at home, I'll put a couple of links underneath the video in the description box. So I'm using a piping bag today, which makes it super simple. So just fill caramel almost to the top. You don't want to fill it quite to the top because we still need to add our final layer of chocolate. And then again, you want to tap the mold so that the caramel becomes nice and level in each one of the little cavities. And then for our final step, we're going to add more of the same chocolate that we used at the beginning of the tutorial. And you can fill each mold right to the top and then give it another tap to make it all nice and even and then either put it into your fridge for about 10 minutes or if you're using tempered chocolate, you can just leave it on your table for a couple of hours and then you're ready to unmold them. And then to pop them out, you just want to take your thumb and push on the bottom of the mold and that will easily pop out each one of our caramel chocolates. And then for our last step, we'll cut into the chocolate and you can see the nice thin shell and also that delicious homemade caramel. So that's it for today's really fast video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish. And if you're on Facebook, you can check me out at facebook.com slash bake like a pro. And if you like chocolate videos like this, I have many more on my YouTube channel. So that's it for today, and I'll see you next time. And please subscribe to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel, and also click that notification bell to be alerted every time I upload a brand new video. If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. On the screen now, you can choose a video to watch, or you can also click and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you once again for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it.